Hello everyone and welcome to our Tuesday night technique club. Actually it's not a club, I'm sorry, my Facebook Live. Sorry, I got a little bit of a dry scratchy throat tonight, so but we will make through this. I have a fun technique tonight. It is Tuesday, September 22nd. And we are going to be doing the Frosted Impressions Technique. So I want to welcome everyone. And say a hello. Hit the like button. Um, let me know you're there. I always like it when I have an audience. Not too fun talking to yourself. But... I want to thank you when you do say hello. I love it when I know that you're here with me. So I've also heard some very sweet comments about how going live has affected some of you. So before I get teary, I, I'll drop it there. And again, I just want to say thank you. And I am happy that you're happy that we're sharing and reaching out together and being able to get together again, even if it's virtual. So I just want to announce that today is the last day to RSVP for my Arrange a Wreath class. The Thursday night class is um, already off the table, so... That one is full, and I have a few spots left in my Saturday. Anybody who wants to do the virtual class, and you can find that information as you scroll down the Linda Stampin' Escape Facebook page. Um, the virtual will be open for a little bit longer yet, um, maybe about a week, because I'm starting cutting tomorrow and I'll cut for the ones that I know that will be here this week and then we'll take it from there. Okay, number two. Um, we have to draw for last week's people who commented and shared the video and you can like it, you can share it, you can comment on it. Um, let me know how you think I'm doing. Let me know if there's a favorite technique you want me to demonstrate. I would love to do that. So um, what I have for you um, for the draw is this cute little coordinating ribbons and buttons. As you can see, I'm in a different, I'm in the um, landscape mode this time so I think my camera's kind of close so we're going to see how this works but it's the ice cream parlor ribbon and it's really cute and it coordinates with these little buttons so this is what we are drawing for tonight so if you give me a second here I'm going to pull in our spin to win I have that all set up. I'll get that tucked in here. There it is. So there's everybody who joined us last week and, you know, left me a comment, a suggestion, liked it. Um, share it with your friends. If you like the technique, give it a share. So, all right, we are going to press this and spin and see who wins that cute little combo tonight. All right, Miss Barb Klein. Woo, you won. Congratulations, Barb. All right, I'll get that out to you. We'll move this out of the way. And before I get to my demonstration tonight, I want to share with you, I hope you can see all this. This is a 24-hour stamp sale 
that is going on tomorrow only. So for 24 hours, Stampin' Up! is going to host this um, event. And you can go on my online store and go in there and purchase any of the stamp sets that you'd like on my blog and on my store and probably on Facebook. I will have links so that you can connect and get a whole list. So actually, I'll do that tonight after this presentation so that you can get a head start and look at which stamp sets are going to be on special. There are a lot of them. So there are a few that I have been looking at but just haven't gotten. But hey, now that they're 15% off, I'm I'm in. So um, anybody that purchases a $50 order will get a special gift from me. And I will send that to them. So that's right here. And that is through me only. So the sale runs tomorrow for 24 hours, 11 a.m. to, I'm sorry, 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. But that is mountain time. So it's more like 1 a.m. in the morning for us till midnight here. So don't wait till midnight. If you have a stamp set that is on this list and you want it, I would say get it now. Go for the 15% off. Hey, if you had a friend that wants something, it makes a great Christmas gift or birthday gift. So on that note, again, you will find this on my blog, on my Facebook page. I will post the link tonight so that you can... Um, see all the stamp sets that are available and then I also shot an uh, email out to everybody I believe this morning so um, there's another thing if you want to get on my email address um, hook up on my blog or just shoot me a uh, message on Facebook and I will get you set up so okay so tonight is going to be our frosted impressions technique. This is a fun and super, super simple technique. Um, it You're working with window sheets, and I don't know why I never thought of this before, but I did teach this to my club members a while back. We used to have a technique club, and uh, it was it's just super simple. So let's start. Of course, you can see here I'm working with Halloween again, of course. But I also want to introduce you to the new, ooh, that is close. And I'm afraid to move this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so let's see how this works. Um... This is the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. So it is this cute little, oh my gosh, it looks like a purse and I'm way too close. You can barely see it. So here are the little sides that come down. Well, I'm just going to pop them down. Hi, Sandy. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get that in as good as I can. You guys got a really close-up shot of this. <laughs> so that'll be fun. All right. Now, one of the best things I like about this new machine, other than it kind of reminds me of a little purse, and it is a little lighter, and it's very easy to carry. The only thing you have to do is when you get this, you'll have to put the handle on, but that is like super simple. But each of the plates are numbered. So this is your base plate. And it tells you which, can I get that in there? What your sandwiches are. So it'll tell you exactly which plates you need to use to do what you want to do. So there is the embossing folder. 
and then it even gives you the little tip about hinge first that way you don't crack the hinge off and there is the 3d embossing folder which we are using tonight so you can see that it says plate number one then your embossing folder and then plate number four so let's go ahead and do that we're going to put down our plate number one then we are going to get the embossing folder which I set off to the side, but we are using spider webs. So place your, can you see that? Not very good, huh? That is the window sheet. So you can see that with the glare on there. All right, so we're going to place our window sheet in our embossing folder, lay it down, because it said number one, and then plate number four. Now, this is probably going to give you guys a good jiggle, my guess. So I'm going to crank this through. See how nice and quiet that is? Wow, that's nice. And then have it, I always back up. But then again, I'm usually standing in the opposite way, so it always comes back to me. So, we'll take those plates out, and now can you see that? Oh my gosh, look at that. I am actually going to move our stamp and cut here, and emboss machine. There we go. Isn't that cool? But, here's the frosted part. I like to stick a piece of paper, a dark piece underneath here, so I can see that just a little better. And I'm going to put that in a spot so you can see it a little better. And I happen to be lucky enough to have one of the old Stampin' Up! Um, blocks left. But you can use any... Um, now I'm not going to think of the name of this. This um, sandpaper. So you can use any sandpaper. Um, what's nice about the block is that it it's flat and it's kind of sturdy so um, not like you're rubbing it with your hands because this way with it being a little flatter you're not going to dig into the low parts you're just going to hit the high embossed areas I like to swirl so as I move this can you see what it's doing already oh my gosh that is so cool so it's highlighting our spider webs. You can do this with almost any embossing folder. I will tell you though that the closer the images are together, the better. Because that way it doesn't like want to scooch into those low lying areas. You're just going to get the highlights. And I'm not pushing on this. Trust me. This is just a nice, soft little rub here. Don't want to hurt yourself either. All right. I'm going to flip this over to get that off. And then I'm just going to use my little um, chamois here to pull off that excess. And see how nice that works? Oh, my gosh. I don't know who originally came up with this technique, but we got to pat them on the back because this is really cool. And again, you can use this for anything. Just think of that beautiful snowflake embossing folder that's in the mini catalog. That would just be gorgeous. So I'm going to put that away. And then ours, of course, is going on black. And you say, how do you hold that on? Well, for the spider web, it works really nice. I mean, you can use um, your liquid glue if you want, if you don't think that would show up. Um, I wouldn't use any type of two-way um, adhesives because they like to, um, they really show up. Let's just put it that way. 
So the glue dots work really nice. And I like to place my glue dots like in where the little spider web circles are because, hey, on a spider web, we don't know what's in that center, do we? So that's the perfect place to put that. But I would stick it under any spot that pretty much hides that glue dot. And then you could always put a ribbon over that. So once we get that attached, we're going to put that on the pumpkin pie. And then I am going to bring back our stamp and cut again. Bring that up here. And we're going to use our base plate. This time we're going to die cut. So it tells us that we need plates one, two, and two number three plates. So we're and there is number one. There is number two. We get that spider web out of the way. And we need one of our cutting ones and our piece of paper and oh I thought my little spider ran off but he didn't he is right here and speaking of spiders my paper pumpkin came in the mailbox today and it's so cool because it's all cooled up, or all dressed up in this pretty Halloween box and sitting on top of it was a little green spider eek really <laughs> he went for a little ride and then he was gone so um just the plates as they say hold that down and again it goes through super smooth really easy plate off there's our little spider so we'll be using him as well on our card so, what do you think about the new Stampin' Cut? I get you, you gotta love that everything is numbered. It is so cool, and it tells you. Every plate, all of the white plates, I should say, will tell you how to make your sandwich. So, to me, that is perfect. In case anyone forgets, set them aside, and then... Just fold this up and you're ready to go. And you just got to look at the cat in the catalog and see how nice this is. And soon we'll be getting a little mini one. Sorry about that. All right, so back to our card. Of course, I'm going to use our Happy Halloween that I used before from our Magic in This Night Suite. That is also where our little spider came from, as does our beautiful ribbon. Now, let me just grab that. Not sure where I set it, but... There's the ribbon. And who said who said that you have to Sorry about that. I hope I can edit this out. Wouldn't that be nice? But anyway, who said that you had to um use this ribbon as Halloween? You just wait. In the near future, I will be showing you how versatile that beautiful ribbon is. And we'll take it from there. So I just kind of laid it down, and then I did our greeting. But look at You can see, without the glare, actually, how that frosted impression really pops. Plus, you still have all the texture. And then, of course, I just did my little Happy Halloween and our little pearls, the iridescent pearls. 
all of this actually comes in that whole suite. So if you are a Halloween person and you really like that, you can get the whole suite. But um, I just have a quick video tonight um, because this didn't take long. This is a super fast, super fun technique called Frosted Impressions. And just try it. It is so easy to use. Just take that a window sheet, cut it down, roll it through your embossing machine, whichever one you have. I'm sure anyone will work. And then just use a little sandpaper and gently go over it. And you will see the magic. And then you just decorate. That's how easy this technique is. So, can you show the ribbon on the spool? Um, Carrie, I'm looking for it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because amazingly, I had just had that earlier today. Oh, voila, there she is. So this is the ribbon. And it is the metallic mesh. So, I mean, you can have it look like a spider web. I actually covered a whole back of a card with it, which looked really cool. But I also think this would be perfect with the snowflakes. Um, anything that you're working in silver or gold, it is just really shiny and really pretty. So, any more questions? Um, before I say good night. So that is that. And again, all of this is in that sweet magic in this night. That is what it's called. And if you go on my blog, you will see many, many Halloween cards. Um, for a Halloween stamp set bundle, sweet, I think this one's kind of sexy. Yeah, never thought I'd say that, but it kind of is. <laughs> and it's been a lot of fun to work with, so I'm sure you'll see a little bit more before um, the end of October. So, all right. One more time. I just want to remind you about the 24-hour stamp sale tomorrow. Um, just hop on my blog or I will post a link. After this, to our Linda Stamp and Escape Facebook page, and you'll be able to click on that link and download all of the stamp sets that are currently going on sale tomorrow. And again, it's 24 hours, 15% off, and anyone who purchases $50. With me, that's before shipping and handling, I will send you a free gift. So, and our little winner tonight, Barb, I will send you this. And then I will go on a hunt for something fun for next week. So make sure you said hello, share the video, um, like the page. Just get your name on there and we'll get you in there for our spin next week. And again, if you have any suggestions on what techniques you would like me to show, I'm starting a list. I would be happy to put that on there. So I thank you for sitting with me for this 20 some minutes and I appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed it and I thank you very much. You have a nice evening. Bye now.